We never came to parent-teacher night before. I don't see what's so special about this one. Charlotte, you read the invitation. Community begins in the classroom. I am your mother. It is my job to watch over your education. There's so little of it left. What took you so long? Ooh, we're gonna play my favorite game. Who's the worst mother in the world? Ooh, now don't tell me, let me guess. Who could it be? Could it be me? All right, you know what, I'll make you a deal. You stop being a little bitch for, let's say, oh, I don't know, an hour or two, and I won't knock the religion of your choice for a week. Deal. Who's that? That's Mr. Crane, who's my history teacher, and he's very nice. He is an asshole. I've spoken to him yet. Charlotte, I don't need to speak to him. He's driving an asshole, for Christ's sake. We don't have a prayer against doctors in the league if you don't release them. Get some uh, agendas here and there's refreshments in the, uh, uh, Mrs. Flax. Hi, I'm, I'm glad you came tonight. You have two weeks. I'm asking for one day. Uh, I'll think about it. Thanks, Coach. Hi, Mr. Lindsay. Hi. How are you? Is your mommy? Yeah. Hi. I've been meaning to get in touch with you. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Even better. Are any of these yours? Oh no, mine are grown and long gone. Boo, how are you doing? Yeah, hi, hi, hi. And uh, where's Mrs. Lansky tonight? Oh, she's long gone too. Oh, so you're a widower? Oh no, she's she's just gone. Oh. Would you like some punch? Sure. This way. No, no, she just up and left one day, right in the middle of vacuum. I didn't even switch a damn thing off. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a Mr. Flax? No. He, too, made a rather sudden and unexpected departure. Not in the middle of vacuum. No, I was in the middle of labor with Charlotte. Yeah? Yeah, and to add insult to injury, <laughs> the son of a bitch stole my car to leave in. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it was a great car, though. Red, blue, with convertible white sidewall tires. When I think about it, it still pisses me off. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. It really means a lot to you. I remember the first time I got behind the wheel of that car, and I thought, Rachel, this is heaven. I mean, cars mean freedom, you know? If you hate a place, you can get in your car, poof, you're gone. So your first love was a Buick? Yeah, before I met my husband. Mm -hmm. Big mistake. One of many. Are we talking cars or men? I don't know. I've been taken for a ride by both of them. <laughs> Mrs. Flax. Yes, Mr. Lansky. I, uh, I try not to get involved with women when the World Series is about to start, but um, for you, I'd make an exception. Should I take that as a compliment? Oh, yes. I, I would really like to know you a whole lot better. So call me Lou. So Lou, call me. Well, how about Sunday? I'm, I'm free all day. How about breakfast? Great. I'll bring bagels. I'll be there. So will I. <laughs> you see that woman there? Yes. That's my mom. But when I grow up, I want to be just like yours. Mary, you already are. <laughs>